Xiaomi has upgraded its automatic soap dispenser under the media brand with this pro version. It incorporates the World Health Organization standard on hand washing. Join me in discovering more features of this home tech device from Xiaomi. Please subscribe and click the notification bell for upcoming videos on this channel. Your super thanks is highly appreciated. Wow! For the old version, I have a thorough discussion in this video. Check the link above. If you own the old Xiaomi dispenser, you can spot easily the difference of the Pro version by its appearance alone. It already has a neck for its spout, the power button is on the top of the neck, and it also has indicator light. I'll tell you more about the lights later. For those who doesn't know about Mijia, I pronounce it the Spanish way before as Mijia. It is Xiaomi's brand for home automation. Mijia literally means Xiaomi Smart Home. This pro version is a little bit higher than the previous version but the base is the same at 72mm since it still uses the same soap bottle. So I have here a 3-pack uh, supply of the uh, bottled soap and uh, I bought this last year until now it's, I still have one left <laughs> so this one um, although it's a uh, look like a different uh, scent because it sees here Mediterranean scent well this one there's no indication here uh, although uh, maybe this is simple way or I don't know what is simple way maybe the, the brand <laughs> okay so if you open this one just twist then we will use this uh, bottle here so the same thing oh, you have to open this one the the uh cover then you put it so you can still use the old version bottle it weighs 570 grams with it has a soap filled bottle still its plastic material is polycarbonate and abs thermoplastic polymer w one thing i've noticed with the pro version is um the entire body of the dispensing unit is uh glossy while the old version is somewhat matte finish but this will uh, easily attract dirt okay uh, based on my experience unlike the previous version which operates with 6 volt supply this pro version works at 3.7 volts only i'll tell you more about it later and this is the hand the device is now rechargeable this works under extreme temperature as low as 5 degrees and as high as 40 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity should be around 10 to 85% for the device to work properly. This is how maintaining humidity in our homes is important. There are devices like this that have limitations as far as humid conditions is concerned. I have a discussion about humidity in this video featuring a mini dehumidifier. Have time to watch it. The video helps homeowners. Waterproofing for this device is IPX5, which means it can withstand water splashes from any direction. The rating is important because the device is exposed to water splashes. So what's new? First, the spout is uh, moved farther from the body of the device by about uh, 30 mm from, uh, from here. And it's also higher than the previous version by about 16 uh, mm. So this gives our hand enough space from the body of the dispenser. The power on switch here is an inductance button. It means it reacts to our body's inductance. One stop, the circle around the button logo will light up with light with white light for about two seconds. Then it's turn off. If you tap again to turn off, an orange light will blink and turns off. Okay, so that's off already. The infrared sensor still located uh, near the spout, uh, the one in block, and can be triggered according to Xiaomi in just 0.25 seconds or one fourth of a second. The sensitivity of the sensor is similar to the previous version. According to Xiaomi, the sensing area where the uh, dispensing is done is within this area from the bottom of the dispensing unit up to the side of the spout perpendicular to the edge of the spout and 
uh, when you put your hands here, according to Xiaomi, um, it will uh, start sensing your hand for the dispensing. We will try. Let's turn on. Then we'll try here. Oh, it's not reacting. Ah, okay. So let's, let's start. Uh, let's do it again. Okay, so that's a considerable amount of uh, soap. Then we'll try again from here. Okay, it also reacts uh, from here from the bottom. No, it will. It's not reacting. So it's not uh, four inches. Maybe it's three inches, just like the previous uh, version. Okay, so it's three inches. Um, let's measure to be sure. So that's four inches from the bottom of the dispenser unit, but. We'll try, we'll check from here, it's not reacting from here, about one inches. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so it's actually similar to the previous version, which is only about uh, three inches. According to Xiaomi, the foam is dense, but I just cannot uh, quantify how much uh, milliliters of soap uh, is uh, dispensed by the device so let's see so but this is good enough for one washing see that and uh, one bottle of soap will last for months believe me because I've been using the previous uh, version for more than a year now and I seldom replenish bottle it's about uh, it will last about three months the soap is antibacterial, but according to Xiaomi, uh, to Xiaomi, it's soft and skin friendly. Well, that's true. It so, the scent is, according to the uh, manual, it's uh, Mediterranean. Then, if the light here um, flashes orange light quickly and continuously, it means the spout is blocked. So you have to clean the spout here. Uh, it's being, uh, maybe it's blocked by the soap suds or it becomes dirty. Then another distinguishable improvement uh, of this uh, device is its ab ability to uh, remind us to wash within the, the World Health Organization recommended uh, 20 second hand washing standards. The device will produce a 20 second reminder with a power button here flashing blue light. So right, this will happen right after you, uh, right after it dis dispense. Uh, so uh, let's check. You see the blue light there? It's uh, flashing blue light and that will last for about 20 seconds enough for us to finish washing the 20 second recommended by the who is a scientific uh, way of washing our hands it's being studied that uh, after 20 seconds the bacteria and viruses are totally um, uh, killed by the soap a big improvement also on the soap dispenser is its huge capacity 1000 milliamp rechargeable lithium battery. If you check uh, at the bottom of the dispenser unit, you cannot see here any opening. Unlike the previous version, which is um, there's an opening here for the battery compartment. If you twist that and open, you can see here the four dry cell batteries. According to Xiaomi, the battery will last for about six months in one charge and charging port is a USB type C and you can use any cell phone charger for this. The package comes with a cable but no adapter or charger unit. How do we know if the battery is already low? The orange light here stays on for three seconds then that's the time to recharge the battery and during charging the white light of the power button blinks and if once the light is uh, steady it means the battery is already fully charged okay 
Wait, here's more. Xiaomi allows users to replace the battery in case it gets damaged. The user manual has instructions how to open the device and replace the battery. Uh, it's a good feature considering battery is usually the first to be replaced in any device. But I find it difficult to open and delicate because you're going to pry this portion here, the top portion of the spout, using a... Uh, any friendly uh, device so it's hard actually to uh, open this one uh, i think this has a secret just like the previous one there's a secret here how to open this the, the, the top portion here but i was able to open this one uh, but there's a secret you cannot just uh, pry this portion here because again it will damage the plastic here but there's a secret there how to open this one but for this one, maybe in the future, once the once the battery is uh, damaged, then I'll have to open this one. Uh, I'll just find ways how to open this without damaging any part or portion of the spout. Because once you open the cover here, there's a screw inside. You have to remove the screw to untangle all other components inside just to reach to the battery. There are a couple of reminders here. Uh, actually, this is just a sticker, so you can just remove it afterwards. The first reminder is about the 20-second uh, countdown for or counter, as recommended by the WHO for hand washing. The next one is the reminder uh, when the orange light blinks quickly and continuously. It means uh, the spout is being uh, blocked or by soap suds or it's dirty. Then the third reminder here is about the low battery so if the light turns on for about three seconds it means you need to recharge the battery or the unit the pro version is pricier than the previous version i bought this one at over 1100 pesos the previous version is just half of the price of this xiaomi has yet to officially release this to the global market but still you can buy this one from online stores for more home tech videos, follow this channel by subscribing and clicking that notification bell. Your super tanks can do a lot for this channel. Dengan selamat, aku si Jun Teriman, Hi Tech, bye.